Hot is a three-letter word, and it has been since 1975. The VW Golf GTI is the original hot hatchback. It's now into its seventh generation, but it's refusing to grow old gracefully. We already know this latest 2013 GTI is a great car. It's the benchmark, the hot hatch against which all others are judged. But two new super hatches are here, and they're both ready to claim the Golf's go faster stripes. And they don't come much hotter than this. This is the first time Mercedes horsepower crazy AMG tuning division has tackled a smaller car and they haven't done things by halves. With 355 brake horsepower and four wheel drive, the A45 is savagely quick. From rest, it hits 62 miles an hour in just 4.6 seconds, two seconds faster than the Golf. To put that in perspective, this muscle Merc is more than half a second quicker to 62 miles an hour than the Ferrari Testarossa I used to have on my bedroom wall. And while it can't quite outdo the Ferrari for posing appeal, I still think it looks great, especially from in here. I love the racing style bucket seats and the carbon fibre look dashboard. The Golf feels better built, but even with its retro tartan trim, it's a bit sensible and staid by comparison. And you could never accuse a car that sounds like this of being sensible. It may have five doors and a practical hatchback boot, but the AMG also costs nearly £38,000. Yes, you heard that right, £38,000. That's £12,000 more than a basic Golf GTI. And with all the options fitted, this particular car is, wait for it, £51,000. That's serious money, and I do wonder if this car is exciting enough. With its four-cylinder turbocharged engine and four-wheel drive, it reminds me of the Mitsubishi Evos and Subaru Imprezas that, along with the occasional girl, replace the Testarossa as my objects of desire. That's partly down to the dual-clutch auto gearbox, which can be slow to react, and the steering, which isn't the last word in feedback. Click the link for our Mercedes A-Class full review. So while it's incredibly quick, the AMG is also a bit one-dimensional. It's like this car, the Golf GTI, turned up to 11, and that's no bad thing. But the BMW is quite a different story. Meet the BMW M135i, the only car in our trio that can do this. That's because the 1 Series sends its drive to the rear wheels. And while we don't recommend you try that on the road, there are other benefits too. Sharper steering and a feeling of balance and adjustability in the corners that the front-wheel drive Golf and four-wheel drive A-Class simply can't match. At around £32,000, the BMW occupies the middle ground here in terms of price and performance. Its straight-six engine makes 315 brake horsepower, still 100 bhp more than the VW, and hits 62 miles an hour in 5.1 seconds. Unlike the Mercedes, there's no noticeable turbo lag. This six-cylinder engine just picks up and goes, and you can see exactly what we thought about the M135i by reading our full first drive on the link below. The Golf, well, it's still a lot of fun, but it's best in the mid-range rather than being revved to the red line. I really rate the optional DSG gearbox though. It shows Mercedes how an auto box should work. So, this car might not be quite as exciting either to look at or to drive as the old 1 Series M Coupe, but it's still the one I'd pick for an early morning drive on quiet country roads. But is it the best overall? 
Hot hatchbacks have to be sensible too. And here's where the Golf excels. It has the roomiest interior and the biggest boot. Not only that, it's also the cheapest and the best for claimed fuel economy. Find out how it fared in our more realistic tests by clicking the link. Sadly, I think the Mercedes falls short. It's very fast and very desirable, but it isn't quite engaging enough to drive to justify that price tag. The BMW, well, it's not without fault. And let's not forget, it costs a full £6,000 more than the Golf. But where the Golf does what it says on the tin, the BMW feels genuinely special. Middle ground definitely doesn't mean middle of the road. Click here to read our full lab test reviews of the BMW 1 Series, Mercedes A-Class and Volkswagen Golf.